by the way, ladies, I'm going to give you a new terminology that you will forever use with joy. Platinum pussy. Platinum pussy. I have a platinum pussy. Absolutely. Platinum pussy. with Chantel Hyde, finally back. Thank you so much Yay. with the girls, obviously. And again, because you have seven books out. Eight. Eight, oh Lord, Ooh. eight books out. Um, we wanted to, and we want to get through them all, but this time we're going to talk about this one. I think this one's more for Trisha, our, our, our girl here. And this is a good follow-up for yeah. our last segment that we did, and that's yeah. why we decided to do this book, because it's about fake Love. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Here, read the title there. Fake Love Need Not Apply. Mm -hmm. The Single Girl's Guide to Avoiding Posers, Losers, uh, Scammers, and Predators Online, ladies. Yeah. And, and I it, thought very appropriate. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, what, I was looking through it, and what the actually, I, I mean, we're going to go, there's so many chapters in the book, but the one that really stuck out as soon as I read it was. How not to be a sugar mama. Yes. Right. And the reason why it stuck out, because we were having this conversation, yeah. and we said it on the segment as well, yeah. about, um, never mind that women are out there, or men are worried about them being or their sugar daddies, but you, mm -hmm. as an independent, yes. have, own our own business, own our own house, are worried about that. Absolutely. And I, you know, and when guys say, oh, you girls only want to know on how much money I have in my bank account, I'm like... Absolutely, mm -hmm. because I, as a woman, need to know that you're at my level or above. Yes. Because I don't want somebody to come into my life, and then all of a sudden, I'm one of those st statistics where, you know, I'm I'm meeting somebody, and then I I'm kind of getting blinded by love a bit, and he says all mm -hmm. the right things, and then all of a sudden, I'm losing my home. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm losing money. Right. Yeah. I'm getting scammed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I'm sorry. I, you know, call me guarded, but I don't want that. No, no, no. So and how would Trisha avoid that then? How, how can she avoid that? Well, first understanding the difference between a guy and a man, right? So remember mm -hmm. we talked about guys who are selfish yeah. short-term thinkers, men are generous long-term thinkers. Mm -hmm. So men fundamentally are actually happier if they make more money than their significant other. Great. Guys are happy to be supported. So, mm -hmm. you know, you you got to understand that the selfish yeah. short-term thinkers are the ones that are going to take. The generous long-term thinkers are the ones that are going to want to give. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So then when it comes to another, how do you identify? Like, again, I'm trying to go organically and meeting mm -hmm. people on, you know, outside of the online. But if a woman yeah. is still a bit timid mm -hmm. and uh, she's not ready to go out, but she's finding the security from online, how do yes. you kind of say... It. Is this guy legit? Is it a fake account? Because right. there's a there's, lot of fake and accounts. And there's, yes. there's a, 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 sorry, a chapter in here about being catfish. Yes. And predators yes. as well. So it's a great book, obviously, because um, it, it goes through all of that. But I'll let you continue. Sorry. So, um, so you want to get face-to-face -face ASAP mm -hmm. in one form or another, right? Even if it's just FaceTime, like even if, if you're too scared to go meet them face-to-face -face in person or you're too busy, get the FaceTime right away because people can hide behind a photo, but they can't hide behind a video camera. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And then I always suggest that women exchange numbers. I mm -hmm. said, before you go on any date with yeah, any yeah. guy, make yeah. sure you have his phone number yes. and you've had that conversation yes. with him. And the, the, I think we had, again, with a friend of ours that we had, uh, we, we we're worried about a number that had texted her and you had said, well, tell them to get, call you on FaceTime yeah. right. because then who then you'll know who you're talking exactly. to. Exactly. Because yeah. then there is being catfish, and obviously catfish is when they're misrepresenting themselves yeah. online. It's a fake photo. Yes. Yeah. It's a fake photo, but uh, so I'm gonna go one step further with being catfish, and, and and I mean women do this and men do this is when they try to catfish their significant other to try to catch them in mm, something as yes, well. Yes. So there's also that that's that's yeah. going on as well. So like myself, I'll be honest, um, when I get DMs or I get, some, you know, on our accounts, you'll get people that will, because it's an open account and they'll say, and I just ignore them because I don't need to fall into that. Mm -hmm. And it's not that my husband is catfishing me or trying to see whether I'll respond. I just don't respond. 
that's it like yeah. plain and simple perfect so it's just it's just my thing and it's it's one not because i'm being suspicious like oh this might be my husband trying to say like because you know you always get the ones that and guys don't do this where <laughs> and they probably do this online as well when you're doing um sorry swiping back and forth yeah. whatever whatever application that you're using to to do online dating but you always get that that first the first initial uh, uh sorry response or something that you get or message that's the word i'm looking for is you're hot mm -hmm. <gasps> never respond to really that, by the way is that yeah. the best that you can do for me <laughs> You're hot. Oh. I know I'm hot. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to tell me I'm hot. Or figure yeah. out something else. Yeah. I hate like that drives me crazy. Or they'll say, "Why is a gorgeous girl like you still single?" Really? Okay. Losers like you. Let me make a point. <laughs> please, here. please do. Because when it comes to online dating, yeah. you have the copy and pasters. Those are the guys, the selfish short-term thinkers that are just looking to get this service. Yes. Which means they don't read your profile. Mm -hmm. They look at pictures. They go, "Which one is making it move?" And then they oh my face. god, that's awesome! <laughs> is that movie? Is that is a it, is it, did, did it shift? I think I felt it move. Like, my feathers are right. Okay. So how yeah. long would a, a girl who's talking to someone online, at what time uh, do you think that she should meet in real life? Like how First long is there all, a time period? Don't even reply to people who don't make it clear that they read your profile. Okay. If there is no detail in their message, that indicates that he's read what's in your profile, delete, 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 delete. Don't. If he doesn't acknowledge address. what you wrote in your... If there's nothing in your profile, he didn't read your profile, which means he doesn't care about who you are. It's just about what you're going to give him. Oh. oh. Selfish short-term thinker. Yeah. Off we go. Now you're going to narrow down the field. <laughs> Look at me. I'm taking notes right now. And I'm like, okay, okay, this is good. Y'all should be taking notes. <laughs> writing this down, Patricia. Yeah. Okay. So it's yeah. he should be saying. Because I write it's what be I... Obvious. I write. Yeah, like I'll say on obvious. my profile, I'm like, yeah. you know, I was married. Now I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I don't have children, but I act like one. So when I've yes, seen the guys yeah. that yeah. say, oh, so how old are you? Or as a kid, I know they've read. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But when I get, hey, gorgeous. Uh, that's a copy and paste. Yeah. That's a, that's a copy and paste to every girl that made it move. And they play the law of averages, right? So if I copy and paste 100 times, then there's going to be 50 of them that are going to reply back. Out of those 50, I'm going to start a conversation. And out of those, I can maybe get 10 hookups. Right. Oh my God. That's a lot of time. It's simple and math, effort. really. Yeah. <laughs> He's a wizard. Who yeah. knew? So, <laughs> She's once, <quite> somebody, <laughs> once they write to you and it, it acknowledges who you are, then you start a conversation and do like a little back and forth. Get like a little familiarity because Qualifying. we like familiarity and we get comfortable with familiarity. And if, you, if the guy can type, right? Yes. If the guy can spell, and you're liking what you're seeing and you looked into his profile and you like that, get some FaceTime, either like a physical FaceTime. Don't do the interviews. Stop with the interview coffees, please. Go Ooh. for a walk because this is much more natural than this, right? Oh. So this, we're going to have a casual conversation and get to know each other. And if there's silences, it's okay. Okay. Because there's this instead of this. So get the side by side, go idea. for a walk, go places, museum, marina, park, you know, antique shop, whatever. But just do the side by side so that art gallery, so that if the conversation, because a conversation should ebb and flow. Yeah. So when it ebbs, it can flow into what you're looking, okay. right? And then you're getting more insight into each other instead of the same old interview, which is, um, do you have kids? How long have you been divorced? Why did yeah. you break up? How much do you have a mortgage, right? Like, and yeah. I do yes. interviewing. I yes. do interviewing. So, so instead of interviewing, have a conversation, get to know each other because uh -huh. guys want to flash and dazzle you, right? Yes. So they're going to say whatever, whatever to get into your pants. Men are multi-layered onions and they want to know who you are before they start peeling layers back which means that interview is going to tell you nothing about him the one question you want to answer on a first date is do i want to see them again yes that's it yes. yep that's it how is the energy do i want to see them again but get facetime quickly so that you can ascertain reality okay so i'm going to be devil's advocate advocate because that's what i do um so what if you you're you're so now 
I'll just because use you see, example. I'm like writing Trisha. This is the Trisha show today. Yeah, right? Trisha, it's on a Trisha show today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the Trisha show now. Um, that Trisha then goes with someone, and she's like, "Oh my god, this it went fabulous." She's texting us, going, "Oh my god, it's okay." Oh, yeah. And then, but then he doesn't respond. Did you text him right after and tell him three things you liked about him that you'd love to see him again? No, I would just normally say, it was great meeting you. Thanks for the date. Yeah. Um, As he's driving away, yeah. there should be a text message popping up on his phone. Really? Yeah. Damn it. So, oh, no, I, oh so, no, I'm getting interested. So, really Trisha tells I never, him, I would, so Trisha tells him, nice to meet you. I'm so glad you came. That sounds like a follow-up no. email after an interview. Yes. Oh, I'm doing everything wrong. <laughs> Right? No. Well, think about it. Yeah. It sounds like what you'd say after you meet <gasps> someone for a job interview. are Ka-choo. sensitive. And are they? men <laughs> need to know <laughs> when they've here. done something right. And men need to know if you actually like them. Oh, I'm doing it all. I don't, so I, I hear, won't. I hear the mm-hmm. I don't. The mm-hmm. After the men in the audience. Not right yeah. away. I've never done it right away. I'll say it, you know, maybe the next day. Thanks again for last night. Here's what you want them to do. Associate a good feeling to you. Not physically. <laughs> like, yes, not physically. A good feeling. A good feeling. So compliment right? him. Compliment him. Release some dopamine in that man's brain, which is the reward chemical. And then he goes, oh, I want to see that woman again. So she should be saying, I love how you make me laugh. Yes. Um, oh, I loved he, your story about... about... Be honest. Okay. But three things. Like, like, thank you for paying for that. Yes. Thank you. You were you were so super fun. I wasn't expecting to meet somebody so funny. Yeah. Um, and you smelled really nice too, by the way. Like just three so things that a are little, genuine. So, and so that it's is, not. It's not. Yeah. We're not living in a world where because the, then us as women are now waiting for them to say, "Oh, you smell so nice. Oh, you look so beautiful." So it's not that. It's okay to. Yes. So because uh, and what I'm getting yeah. to is because in your book you do have chapters about being courageous yes 100%. and that is one way of being courageous yes. and if he didn't like you again yeah. being devil's advocate if he didn't like you and he yeah you sent all your three mm-hmm. you know compliments and he just didn't respond or he ghosted you as the new term is then it's okay to be like okay yes because uh, you know right away and you haven't kissed him yet right so Been kissing for three months right but <laughs> honesty is a gift and honesty is a, honesty gift. Is a yes. gift and so we give and then we release the outcome. And the right person, for the right person, your gifts feel good and they want more. But for somebody who isn't picking up what you're putting down, like they wanted a sweater and you got them socks, that's okay. They can be like unsatisfied right. and go on with their lives and yeah. that's okay because you are simply giving and releasing the outcome but you're giving something honest and genuine. And for the person whose energy is gonna match with yours, they're gonna be like, I feel good about that and I want more and I like her and I need to see her some more and get to know her more. And when you propose no kissing for three months, guys walk away because they want what they want when they want it. Men don't because what they're looking for is a connection and a relationship that's going to last 50 some years. Do you see how like I'm just like in the zone <laughs> a right now because I'm like it's all I'm like I hear you I hear you. Okay, but okay, yeah. so here's here's back to sorry. Yeah. About okay, because you just said men want what they want when they want guys. it. Guys, guys, but but what about women that want what they want when they want it? Girls. Yeah. But it's okay to. But in your last segment, it's okay to be a, a girl. Short, exactly. Yes. I've been okay. a girl. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted a guy to match up with. I did. Right? A, yes. I did a yeah. full year of girl mode, and baby, it was fun. Was it? Oh yeah. Tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> Can you? That's See? what we really want to hear. There was, a, there no, was only joking. one because the rule was no penetration. We're gonna come to my place and we're gonna play, and I got handcuffs. We're gonna have some fun, oh, but there's no penetration. Hold on. And there was only one that I left in the bar parking lot because he was like, "No, I got to put it in," and I'm like, "Then you're not coming home." Wow. Oh right. Nice. Yeah. She you left him in the parking lot. That's right, ladies. <laughs> yeah, well, after home. we made out for a while. Oh, you must and have then killed like, him. Yeah, and then I'm like, good. I, know. I, want, I want to take you home, and these are the rules. Oh, my yeah. God. No the poor guy. Oh, yeah. my God. I don't know if I can hold that back. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> sorry. It's like the no kissing for three no, months. No, no, right? no. Okay. So playing without yeah. penetration means you have to use your imagination. No kissing for three months means you have to use your imagination. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> can, I want to get yeah. in there. <laughs> can we lose a light? Or hold on. I know. <laughs> 
fucking excited. I know. Hey, don't Giggles. We're Giggles. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're talking about yeah. though. We still yes. wanted to go back to not being with a loser yes. because at, when people yes. are at this stage, um, it. The woman has also, and again, in your book is about women also working on themselves. Yes, because women who fall for predators, yes. losers, fakes, are like, they don't, they fall for what's coming out of their mouths. They don't fall for behavior. They don't fall for character. And so when you're only falling for, you know, what people are kind of like trying to dazzle you with, mm -hmm. it's because you have low self-esteem. And and you're just going for the attention. You're not going for the character. You're not going for the personality. You're not going for the human being yeah. wow. because you don't even elevate yourself as a human being. Yeah. So and yes. and and people who would elevate them, they're going to reject them because that's uncomfortable. Because they're loving them so much more than they're loving themselves. We seek what's familiar, even if it's bad for us. So they're always going to look at someone who's at the low level that they're at, looking to push them down even lower because that's what's familiar to them. Oh wow. And so, and again, we we have this conversation all the time when we're sitting with girlfriends and we're out. Is you have to learn to love yourself absolutely before somebody else is going to love you. You need to feel confident. Yes. It's okay to look confident yeah. because a confident man will see oh. that you are confident. And you know what? Those are the people that you want to attract. And mm -hmm. I, 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 that's why I'm so glad you said that because I say this: know yourself worth Absolutely. ladies mm -hmm. know what you're worth yeah. because that is what a man is going to appreciate and that's yeah. what they're going to see absolutely that confidence it's i always say what well, well, what's your worth yeah well yeah. you remember we talked about the seven qualities that men look for in a woman yes yes the number one most attractive quality is confidence, confidence. absolutely yeah. i had that highlighted in your book by yeah. the way <laughs> I'm like, no, no, but it's true. true. It's yeah. true. So then can I ask a question? How, yeah. when a woman is, now let's go back to online dating. How yeah. do you look at profiles and determine what's a fake account and what's a real account? Good and question. what should the woman be looking for yeah. in, yeah. Those, in that one paragraph that... That like would say, a, yeah. this, this, is, a, this yeah. is something, yeah. this could this, be a I'm good gonna put, Yeah, I'm going to swipe right or however you Left or right or up and down, right down or up and down, up and down. Up and down. Um, <laughs> military dude, lots of travel, lots of money. Nope. <laughs> military. Fake. I get them on Instagram yes, all the time. Right. Military dude. Military yeah. dude, lots of travel, lots of money because he's setting you up to not be able to see him face to face. Oh my God. I do get those. Remember things. that guy I met? Yeah. Remember yes. that guy? Oh, I'm right now uh, on assignment. Yes. And remember that love Everybody letter he wrote? on assignment. Yeah. He wrote Cop me this. Copy and paste it onto Google. Oh. Yeah. And then I blocked him. I had blocked him because we had exchanged numbers. But when I yeah. saw this message on my phone, I was like, Woo! Block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is good. We're the Ladies, listen, listen. 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 <laughs> this We're is good. Lulu. No, Lulu. No. <laughs> no. Lulu's so, heard all this before. Military yeah. men. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Other. <laughs> um. So you know the too good to be trues. Okay. Right. So he's too. He's too handsome. He's too young and handsome. He's too rich, young and handsome. Um, Which we are looking for the young, and, rich, and handsome. And by the way, can I, can I just say, women, you do want a man who is less attractive than you by a smidge, because whoopsie. Me, you know how like so men are happier making more money than you. Yes. Men are also happier if their woman is more attractive than them. And so you're so basically this is this is you setting yourself up to be in a lasting relationship because men who are more attractive, attraction is symmetry, yes. right? The stronger your gene code is, the more symmetrical you are. Mother Nature made attractive men with a higher sex drive because Mother Nature wants a strong G code within the species, and so he will be more susceptible to cheating because he has a higher sex drive. Oh dear Lord, hot girls. guys are more horny. Oh, Bye, hot guys. <laughs> we don't need you anymore, boys. We're coming out for you. <laughs> well, it's funny that you say that because I do tell I do tell women, and, and please correct me if I'm wrong or slap my hand if it's a bad thing to say. And I say I actually say this to my daughter as well: is if when you marry or you're with somebody, yes. be with someone that loves Let's you see. more than they do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I say that and my look, my husband my will dad, watch yeah. this, and he knows he, uh, he loves me more than I, not that I don't love him. <laughs> As he's like, oh, what? <laughs> it's, it's Camera obvious. click off? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into men's emotions. Yeah. Men double our emotion. Like, the, the emotion heartwarming, they're double us. So literally, they do love us more than we love them. 
But we have to See, get them to that light. We have to get them there. You have to give them a safe space for the emotions to come out because when there's a fight, there's a retraction of emotions. And then you make up, they come back out, and then you fight, they go back in. When there's no fighting, heartwarming can have its full effect. And my husband like keeps leveling up. Like he'll he'll come home and he'll like just do the, mm, the kiss, right? And uh, and See, we make we make out for a little bit, and I'm like, oh baby, what can I do for you now? Yeah, right. Oh my but, god, <laughs> just don't just give my husband ideas. <laughs> 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 but both of our husbands are here, okay? <laughs> and they're just like, yeah. He's head right now. He's like, you know what? No, Maya. You're fine. You're fine. I take care of you. You're fine. <laughs> I have a TikTok, by the way, where I'm like, and I'm like bedhead, right? Like sweatshirt and no makeup. And I'm just like, I just made out with my husband. It's nine o'clock in the morning because that's what we do every morning. Ooh, Jesus. So no. do, not call, <laughs> do not call Chantel between nine and nine. Nine and nine. She'll be busy. busy. <laughs> She'll be busy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, my, my husband gets the right send off every morning. Yeah. And at night when he comes home. We have like a little a little makeup session. Oh, yeah. So, but you know what? Okay, so uh, uh, not a, I know. Sorry, no, no, no. but okay. So I'm gonna say, yeah. I'm like. <laughs> but see, sometimes though, a makeout session doesn't always need to lead to sex. Mm -hmm. Why can't we just have a makeout session? Good night, honey. And what is, why does it have to be like? That's that's the point too. It doesn't yeah. always have to it's lead to I mean, that. Look at you. Right, that's true. Too. So, I mean, well, I don't if, know. If, actually, if I, I can't argue that. Here, I feel like, let's go. Oh, I like you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but okay, so back to this. It's the predators one too. That's yeah. interesting because so the okay. So I guess quickly as quickly as we can, the, the difference between the the loser and the predators because you have yes. chapters on each. Yes. Yeah. 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 So a loser is just, a, I don't know, I just so, say it's so a the, loser. So the loser is the guy who's like living in mom's basement, he's got anger issues and he blames everybody else for the problems, his car broke down, that's your fault, he's late for something, that's your fault, he doesn't have a job, that is your fault. He maybe has a kid, but he he's not working because he doesn't want to pay child support because he resents that, like that kind of character, right? He wants to play video games all day, he just wants to be a bum, he's lazy, he's not hardworking. The three characteristics of a relationship that you should stick with is, is he hardworking? Working, does he make you laugh? Is he loyal and devoted? Um, so, so losers are none of that. Predators, this is for the moms because predators are looking for single moms. Oh, you know what? That God. just that yeah. just hit. That just made me like my stomach just yes. turn because I'm thinking more sexual um, molestation or sexual assault comes in because they're going to go after the kids, right? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So, oh. so, you know, predators, losers, scammers, like I, I show you how to see them. You know, when you get a car and all of a sudden you're seeing that car all the time, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want you to recognize those types by seeing them first and understanding them first and being able to decode them from a mile away. So how can a single mom with a child protect herself from that kind of predator? So no kissing for three months, but the thing is they show themselves off as like very kind, gentle, understanding people. So they can do the three month no kissing rule. Right. But you know, does he choose to be around children more than adults? That is a big tell um, because predators are buddies with kids. They love kids because they groom kids, right? They're very good oh at that. Oh my God, it's great. Right. Oh. Yeah. I know. Um, what kind of profession is he in? Is it all about kids? So there's tells. Okay. And you know what? Women, trust your instincts. Yeah. Trust oh, your instincts. Again, again. That little yeah. voice, your gut, yes. that feeling that you get, hmm, maybe something's yeah. off, it's off. So yes. trust yeah. those instincts yes. for sure. Never leave your child unintended with an unrelated male adult. Oh, I, yeah. yeah. I, oh, yeah. I totally agree with that. Um, but, okay, so say, so obviously to get your book, it has all the information in there, but they can mm. also contact you as well. Yeah. Like they can... Uh, and we'll put all of your information, but quickly you can say it as well. So Canada's Dating Coach, you just just type in Canada Dating Coach, you're going to find me because I'm like, number one in good go. Yeah! 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 That was awesome. That was awesome. Any last words of advice? Don't call me between nine and nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Give me the damn book. Give me the damn book. Yeah. Trisha, give me the damn yeah. book. <laughs> yeah. If, if I'm going to sign off on anything, it's this. Please. Good men do exist, oh, but yeah. you have to believe in them yes. in order to start manifesting them. Absolutely, absolutely. There are good guys, ladies. Just, you know what? Don't rush into anything. Love yourself first. Yes. Love yourself know your first. Worth. 
Yeah. That was awesome. And get the book, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.